Welcome. So this is stage two of our textured abstract painting. So if you guys haven't watched stage one, go to my channel and watch that real quick. It's only about a minute and a half long. It's super quick. Um, stage one consisted of the modeling paste and letting that dry before we jump into stage two now and get the fun colors in. So we're going to be using acrylic paint and the colors that I'm using are light olive green, a Payne's gray, a raw sienna, an antique gold, and then a red brown. here and I'm going to want to put the gloss gel on my brush and mix it with the paint that I'm using. So the more gel that you use and mixing medium that you use with your paint, the more transparent it will be. Okay, so I'm dipping my brush in the gel medium and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my canvas. head into a little bit of paint and start adding it on the canvas. For the most part, if you want to get the same effect that I had on my final pieces, you're going to want the inside of the canvas, the more centered of the canvas to be more of a lighter color. And then we'll go in with a darker color, the Payne's Gray, that will go in on the edges and kind of bring that in. Okay, so here I'm going to start adding a little bit of that Payne's Gray, and I'm going to come in from the edges of the canvas. And I'm just going to keep adding a little bit at a time, and then keep adding that mixing gel in with it so we have a light layer on to start with. So I'm just continuing to add more layers of paint. I'm jumping into my red brown here, one of the metallic colors and starting to add a little bit of that on top of some of the other layers I have going on. If you use a really light touch with your brush to the canvas, it's going to pick, the paint is going to pick up on the higher parts of the texture from where we did the modeling paste on the first stage. And here's where I'm gonna add a little bit more of that Payne's gray. It almost looks like a navy blue to me. And I'm gonna go in here on the edges and I'm going to paint the edge solid and then I'm going to kind of pull my brush up almost with a dry brush type effect lightly over the edges there and you can kind of see how that picks up. So we'll go ahead and do that all the way around the canvas. If you are using a canvas board, um, you're not going to have the edges as much, but you can still kind of do a light dry brush effect coming around the edges. So we're finishing up here with our edges of our canvas. And then I'm just dipping my finger onto the gel medium just to use that as a blending tool. 
And here I am going into the red brown and I'm just lightly going over some of those ridges there from the texture. Just gonna highlight some of that. Okay, so there's our abstract textured painting. Um, let me know what you guys thought. Leave some feedback and comments and reach out. Thanks, guys. <laughs>